Imagine looking up into the night sky and seeing the moon glowing blood red. That's exactly what's going to occur for many of us on the morning of November 8th as a total lunar eclipse occurs. I'm Michael Martin, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to go out to see and experience this incredible event. If you enjoy this video, please like it and consider subscribing to this channel to join our growing community. But most importantly, let me know of the questions or experiences that you have out with this event in the comment section below. Now, a total lunar eclipse is when the Earth moves in between the Sun and the Moon, casting the darkest part of our shadow known as the umbra down onto the lunar surface. When the Moon becomes completely covered by the Earth's shadow, it then starts to turn a blood red color. I always like to imagine the reaction of someone who randomly walks outside and looks up to see this event, having no idea what's going on. The total lunar eclipse coming up on the early morning of November 8th will be visible from many spots around the world, with the best views of the entire eclipse occurring in parts of North America, Asia, Australia, and the Pacific. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be focusing on the west coast of North America using Pacific Standard Time to tell the story of when this will occur. But please be sure to double check exactly when it's going to happen for you and your time zone using news websites and local media. For those of you on the west coast, go outside around 1.15 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and watch as part of the moon begins to slowly be covered by the shadow of the earth. Totality hits around 2.17 a.m. as the moon will darken and then begin to turn that famous blood red as some of the light from the sun is filtered through our upper atmosphere and then makes its way to the lunar surface with the maximum eclipse occurring around 2.59 a.m. and totality ending around 3.42 a.m. This will be a great event to see without any equipment whatsoever, but even just a pair of binoculars can add to the experience. If you're able to get out with a cell phone or a DSLR camera to take any pictures of this event, please tag me over on Instagram at Late Night Astronomy to share with me what you're able to capture of the total lunar eclipse. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from Late Night Astronomy.